southern Pacific coast, visiting casually as far south as California's Monterey Bay. There are 20 species of grebes worldwide, of which six breed in North America. Grebes resemble small ducks in profile with the significant difference that the bills are sharply pointed. There are no visible tail feathers. The heads of most species are crested or tufted. The sexes are marked alike. The grebes, like the loons, are diving birds with legs located toward the rear of their bodies. But unlike the web-footed loons and ducks, grebes have lobes which open and fold as their feet thrust against the water. Grebes spend their time offshore and in freshwater shallows, diving for small fish, crustaceans, and insects. 30-second dives are typical. They can vanish instantaneously with a forward plunge, or like the loons, can compress air from their feathers and sink. A frightened grebe may surface only its eyes and nostrils from a reedy vantage until danger passes. After a courtship of ballet and operatic vows, grebes build nests of floating vegetation. Tucked under the adult's wings, the striped young ride piggyback, bobbing to the surface if they lose their grip. Flight is fast, direct, and preceded by a long, splashing takeoff run. But to escape danger, grebes prefer to dive rather than to fly. Like the loons, grebes hold their heads low in flight. The apparent absence of tail feathers makes the trailing feet visible. The least grebe, our smallest grebe, is a drab, gray bird with a rounded body and a short neck. The bill is small and slender. The throat and cap appear black in breeding birds, pale in winter. No other grebe has a yellow eye. Reluctant to fly, it shows a white wing patch and light underparts when airborne. A bird of Central and South America the least grebe's U.S. range is limited to southern Texas, where it slips shyly through the vegetation of ponds, eating aquatic insects. The compact, rounded shape of the pied-billed grebe is commonplace in shallow fresh waters across temperate North America. The pale, thick bill an atypical shape for the bill of a grebe is often compared to the bill of a chicken. It is ringed in black in summer, plain in winter. The cottony rump is often conspicuous against the brownish plumage. Diving for fish and insects, the pied-billed grebe appears and vanishes as if by magic, hence the folk name hell diver. In winter, when the horned grebe fishes the coastal waters of the U.S., fresh and salt, it wears a dark cap, strongly contrasting with the white cheek and throat. This contrast is the horned grebe's best identifier at any distance in winter. The back is dark. Gone in winter are the yellowish horns, dark, glossy cheek tufts, and rusty neck and sides the birds wear on their mating grounds, on lakes, rivers and marshes in the boreal forests and northern Great Plains. The large size, long neck, and long straight bill give the red-necked grebe a loon-like appearance. Much larger and stockier than the horned grebe, the red-necked grebe is distinguished in breeding plumage by the whitish cheeks and long yellowish bill. Winter plumage, including the front of the neck, is drab gray, and most individuals show a dusky whitish crescent from the chin up to the ear. 
the larger size and long neck lacking white distinguish it from the winter horned grebe. The red-necked grebe winters along the Atlantic and Pacific coasts, favoring the northern portions of these ranges. Look for it in bays, estuaries, and inland waters near the coasts. The eared grebe is a western bird, summer and winter, breeding in the marshes of inland lakes in the Great Plains and westward, sometimes in colonies. On migration, the eared grebe favors salty lakes, such as Mono Lake in California. In winter, it may be seen in the Pacific Ocean and its estuaries, and on inland lakes as far east as Texas. Eastern sightings are unusual. In profile, the eared grebe shows a peaked head. The breeding plumage is dark and glossy with golden cheek tufts contrasting with the black head and neck. The slender, slightly upturned bill is a good field mark. The cheek tuft is replaced in winter by a white spot behind the ear. The chin and throat are white and the body is dull gray. Note the extreme rearward position of the legs, typical of grebes. The long, sharply pointed bill accounts for the western grebe's Latin name, Ecmophorus, which translates spear bearer. At 18 inches, the western is our largest grebe, and its courtship rites are certainly the most elaborate. It breeds on the Great Plains and westward and winters along the Canadian and U.S. Pacific coasts, principally on salt water but occasionally on inland freshwaters. The very long, slender neck, white in front, is diagnostic. The head often appears flat-topped. There's little difference between the breeding and winter plumages, but two species are now recognized. Clark's grebe, with white surrounding the eye and an orange-yellow bill, and the true western grebe with black surrounding the eye and a dull yellow bill. The worldwide order Pelicaniformes includes not only the pelicans, but the tropic birds, gannets, cormorants, and hingas, and frigate